It's time to play hide who Tim Walls is, Kamala Harris's vice president pick. All of mainstream media is in on the big lie, which is to promote him as just a normal school teacher, kindly old man, when really he is a hardcore leftist radical. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. Of course, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, like, share this thing. We need you to help rebuild our empire. Her new book out now is entitled Trump in Exile. Hmm, that brand has a familiar ring to it. While Trump could be in exile, we're all in exile, definitely. On the outs, trying to fight a giant draconian system of censorship, of communism, anti-free speech like this Tim Walls quote that slipped out and went all around social media yesterday. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or... Remember, that's all they have to do to stop end free speech forever. Kamala Harris, Tim Walls, every social media platform, they just declare it misinformation. If they declare it misinformation, you don't have a right to that free speech. By the way, you have a right to free speech. Even this guy, Tim Walls, who is performing misinformation right now, even he has a right to free speech of that misinformation. So he's wrong on this. It's dangerous that he would say this in public. It's clear that he does not believe in a constitutional right and protecting your free speech. Here's the bird brains at MSNBC. 2008 campaign manager and White House senior advisor David Pluff on our show the morning after President Biden dropped out of the 2024 race. And now David has indeed joined the Harris Waltz campaign as a senior advisor. Interesting. Look how she has never been so tickled. She and Morning Joe are leaning in and smiling at this David Pluff guy who ran Obama's 2008 campaign because they're all just interchangeable now, uh, basically uh, Obama's entire campaign is running, was running the Biden campaign and is now running officially the Kamala Harris campaign. So this Pluff guy, just uh, roll in the Biden people, roll in the Obama people. There might even be some Clinton people left over, but these are the young, hard Alinskyite communists coming in now to run the Kamala Harris campaign. That is bluff. And remember, MSNBC will not ask a tough question about Tim Walls. Okay. If you read all the headlines right now, go to Google, look up Tim Walls, read all the headlines. It will only be good news leaning in going, he's normal. He's stable. He's a great, solid pick for Kamala Harris. Congratulations, Kamala Harris. You did so right by the American people. And then all of the challenges that have been blowing up on the right to this guy for his stolen valor, that is for his abandoning, stepping down when his group got sent to Iraq, he backed out in contrast to J.D. Vance being faithful as a Marine. Tim Waltz has supported the law and wanted the, the law that allowed in Minnesota that allowed uh, tampons, to, it demanded tampons be put in boys' bathrooms. And then they called J.D. Vance. Remember, he, he coined the phrase that J.D. Vance is weird, which media ran with because it's Tim Waltz. Here's more. So uh, <clears throat> your, your take uh, on uh, the pick on last night and what you have to do over the next 91 days to win. I don't care what David Pluff says here. It's going to be just more lies. I will show you this quote. This is the media. This is what's been going around that we have to remind everyone. This is Tim Waltz. They keep hiding this quote. I'm going to keep showing it. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or... This is dangerous. Remember, what they call misinformation, formally, what they call misinformation is saying Hunter Biden's laptop is real. Okay. That's misinformation. And then they rolled out. They got people fired. They got people pushed down on all social media. It, they said it was a conspiracy. They said, you're crazy if you believe it. They, and so if you're misinformation on social media, they can keep you from cashing checks. They can keep you from doing banking. They can keep you from processing payments. 
That's what Elon Musk is going against right now with Twitter in California. It's why he's having to move his headquarters to Texas so he can process payments because Gavin Newsom is attacking all free speech that goes against the Democrat narrative. Here's the rest of Tim Waltz in his dangerous anti-free speech. Or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. So remember what they called hate speech, especially around the democracy, which they could claim, you know, that Trump was against elections, so to speak. So they can say that he is attacking democracy, remember, making him a dangerous insurrectionist, dangerous misinformation. And they can try to cancel him as a candidate, which they already tried making him a felon. Now they're going to try to uh, have him uh, thrown in jail. Jamie Raskin said he would remove him when the electors choose a candidate. He's willing to remove him after that in 2025. Jamie Raskin said 2025. Remember what the Democrats are hiding. It is dangerous. It is anti-American. They hate free speech. They want you in jail if you disagree with them because they'll just call it dangerous misinformation and hate speech. To them, hate speech is to say that a man or a boy cannot have a period is hate speech. You go to prison, lose your ability to cut checks. It's going to get worse. Fair warning, if America wants to go that way, then just keep voting these people into office. Uh, change your party. Never put an X next to a Democrat. Let me know if you're out there. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Tell your friends we're right here in exile.